All right, guys, we're back. Fresh episode of Outdoors with T. Tommy here. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Oh, me and my buddy Mark over here. We've been chasing this ravine, looking for our morals all day. Didn't find none. But uh, we did get lucky right over here. Found a little something. Found a lot of these this year. So we got this old dead tree here. Clearly they burnt this ditch at one time. And then growing, we got some old pheasant backs here. I don't know how old they necessarily are, but they're definitely different looking right there. I just love this scene right here. Those are some nice looking ones. I'll just, I've seen them darker before, but I think there's something to harvest there for sure. There's this cool conch shell underneath. Love the view of this from right here. Really pretty scene. And uh, I've heard that these burns are really good for morels, so since it's been burned sometime in the past, just hoping to get lucky looking through here, and it's late in the season, so be lucky to find anything anyway, but. And then here's what we first seen on these guys. And I don't know, I think there's something to harvest there too. If my knife goes right through them, I'll at least take some of it home. It feels moist. Like I said, it's not as dark as I'd like it to be, but it's a good size one. There's my hand. So, see if we can't get a little something else on screen. If I cut those, maybe I'll record it. Can't decide yet. We'll be back. We appreciate you. Hope you're having luck. See what else we can't find. All right, do a little harvesting on these guys. Me and Mark's gonna split this bounty today. Actually, I'll probably give him a majority of it. I just want a little something to eat for myself. See how my knife glides right through it? That's what you want with pheasant backs. If it's leathery and your knife doesn't glide through it, don't mess with it. So that's, that's definitely some favorable pheasant back. Holes are small, still not all opened up digging it set that off to the side watch out for spiders cobwebs critters living in these guys yeah the knife went through real nice on that one too it's got a watermelon like a watermelon rind smell kind of real fresh smell i don't know how good that one will be but there's a little guy down there we're gonna take him to Actually, that'll probably be the nicest, tenderest cut, to be honest. I don't know if those are showing up, but there we go. All right, guys, let's see if the knife glides through these. Uh, a little rubbery, but not bad. Definitely on the further the outside, not bad at all. I think that I will keep some of that. Not bad. At least make some mushroom stock or soup. There's all kinds of different stuff you can do with that. Make stocks and soups, grind it down. I've heard a lot of different, a lot of people don't like these. the taste of these, I've heard. I personally love them and uh, the people that don't like them, I've heard of them grinding it down to make something more favorable. But there you go. Harvest on some pheasant backs. We got this uh, deadfall here, this snag. Me and Mark have actually been out here before and Yeah, I made a video, some golden oysters here last year. Golden oysters in my flip-flops, I think it was called, because it was really hot that day. 
And uh, yeah, I was wearing flip flops and swimming trunks. But I see some old it, old mushroom edge here. And that led me to wrap around the corner. Check this out, guys. They're back. That's a beautiful sight. I haven't seen a lot of these this year. At any of my other spots, I haven't found no small ones like that. There's another little bouquet that's gonna pop up right there. So I'm super pumped to get some pictures, some progression pictures. Come back in a week or so and see if we can't get lucky and let those guys grow. Seen nothing else on that guy. You just never know. Always chase the deadfall around because there's some old something down there, not what we're looking for. But boom, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get that vine off there so hopefully they grow better. A little gardening, if you will. And look down under there. See? Well, there's one. Just never know. Look at that. That's a beautiful sight, guys. Anything else? I'm going to check the video later, but I think that this was... I want to say it was up in the air, and I had to extract those mushrooms with a stick last year. But I did that at another spot too, so I could be wrong. I'm not 100% sure. But I think that this piece might have blown off that piece. I mean, obviously it came from that piece, but I think it was still on there last year. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm not going to harvest them today. I'm just going to let them be. I'm excited. Tune in next week. See how big they get. Three, two, one. Awesome. 72 hours later, right where we left off, those were growing down in this crack, and you can see them still booming out of that crack right there, the stems down there, but that's the same bouquet. Look how much it's grown. Not a lot of sunshine around here. And then look, we didn't see any of this last time. So we got a nice little bouquet back there, little ones all through here. These ones back there, just gorgeous, guys. These things grow fast. Rain, it's been in the 60s, not a lot of sunshine. And uh, I knew that they wouldn't boom as hard as if we had a lot of sun in 70s. But if it's sunny in 70s, you better get back there pretty quick with these guys because they grow. So yeah, there's where we left off. And uh, we're gonna take a look back over here. Some other ones we gardened a little bit. Look at that, guys. So there's some that went not too big right there, but that cluster really went. And this is the one that I gardened the vine away from. You can see my break from right there. And the gardening did some work. It allowed those guys to fruit real nicely. And we got those ones we've seen. We're hitting back here. Didn't really take off too much, but with some sun over the next week, I'm gonna come back and I'll have another harvest. We got some more taken off up there. It's just exciting, you guys. It's so cool, you come back and see a bunch of stuff you were missing out on too. Just never know, man. Always chase that deadfall. So let's, we'll be back here in a minute with some harvesting on this guy. Gonna do some harvesting on these guys here. Let's see, I can get right into the middle of them here, into the stem. I'm gonna cut down. Okay, I don't want these guys to drop on the ground. Look at here. All right, so oysters. When you're Messing with oysters, you want those gills to run all the way down the stem through the mushroom. If it doesn't run down the stem, it's not a true oyster. 
Those are gorgeous. Set those right here and come back for a little more. Looky there, guys. Oh, the fruits of our labor. Okay, and we got one more to come back for here. And if you look, I didn't do a good job of showing, but up on this tree right here, these go back here I shown, but they also go up and further. So, yeah. But that's harvest on some golden oysters for you guys. We're going to do a little more harvest in here. And uh, I really appreciate y'all watching. Hit the like, subscribe button. Be expecting more from me real soon. Love you guys. Wish you the best of luck in your neck of the woods. Get out there. Stuff's popping. It's happening. Thank you guys so much. We'll talk to you next time. Tommy, signing out. Fart. Hup.